How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now it's time for another GPU award video where I compare two GPUs against each other and show you guys the performance difference between the two. So if you guys are having trouble deciding between two GPUs, which one you should get, this is what this series is there for. So again, I compare two GPUs against each other, see which one performs better, uh, if the one is more expensive than the other one, which one you should buy, should you pay a bit more, should you pay a bit less, rather go for the cheaper version uh, this is what this series is there for now for today's GPU Wars video I'm gonna take the AMD RX 560 and put it against the AMD RX 570 and see which one will perform better now of course the RX 570 is a bit more pricey than the RX 560 so is it going to be worth paying the bit extra and getting the RX 570 well, in this video, we are going to find out which one you should buy. Now, for my testing, all of the benchmarks are on stock settings. I did not overclock any of the GPUs. It's only if they have turbo boost that they will turbo boost. Uh, but everything is set at stock. So it's only how the card came out of the box. I did this because some cards do overclock better than others. And I didn't really want to give the one that much of a performance boost over the other one. So I left them all at stand. Standard. Now, I also just want to clarify that your results may differ completely from mine. This is due to the hardware that I use to compare with the GPUs and also the settings that I compare at. So you might have different settings, different hardware, and that's why some of the benchmarks may be different for you. Now, as for the system that I used to benchmark all of these GPUs, I used a Ryzen Threadripper 1920X running at 4 gigahertz. I had 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LED memory running at 3000 megahertz. And for the GPUs, I'm testing the Gigabyte RX 560 gaming OC 4 gig card against the Gigabyte uh, Aorus RX 570 4 gig wind force card. So again, all of their settings are on stock. I did not overclock them at all. So I just want to clarify that again. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So let's get into the video right after this. Do you live in South Africa and want to get into the crypto mining world? Well, Rebeltech is the best place to get all of your mining hardware at extremely low prices. They have a massive range of graphics cards, motherboards and everything else you would need. So click on the link in the video description to go visit Rebeltech and start building your new mining system.
So that's pretty much it for this GPU Wars video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you guys want me to taste different GPUs, let me know in the comments down below. I am planning to throw in the GTX 1050 Ti to compare against both of them as well. So that those videos will be coming soon. Also, if you guys want me to benchmark these GPUs on a different games, let me know in the comments down below what games you want me to benchmark. I know a lot of you will probably want me to benchmark on uh, PUBG, so I might look into that. It's not the comp most stable game out there. That's the primary reason why I haven't tested it yet. But yeah, you guys can just let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the game, please like, subscribe and comment, and then I will see all of you next time. Cheers guys.